In the schlock of Pantheon of bad movies, Godfrey Ho would sit on a special throne made out of tinfoil, compost, and whatever would wash up out of the sea onto the shores of his native Hong Kong. Nobody's ever cranked out so many Z-grade movies in such a short period as Godfrey Ho, who produced literally hundreds of films. Nobody knows how many under various names, largely in the 1980s, at least 90% of those films were about ninjas, most with a ninja somewhere in the title. To achieve his artistry, Ho typically stitched together footage from several unrelated films, which resulted in some of the most surreal action sequences you'll ever see. His supernatural genre benders, such as a robo vampire, have a little bit of everything. It was a blatant Robocop ripoff with hopping Chinese vampires, superpowered gorilla men, and the single worst stunt double in film history. The young Godfrey Ho started his career as the assistant director for Chang Chi and the Shaw Brothers studio for a few years and worked alongside John Woo. His first film was a low budget production entitled Paris Killers in 1974. It was while working with the Shaw Brothers where he met future partner Joseph Lyle. Together they started ASSO Asia Film and its subsidiaries IFD Film and Arts and Ada Audio Video. According to the list of films attributed to him at the IMDB profile, he has directed at least 115 different releases, most of the words containing Ninja. Of course, some contain Kickboxer as well. Of course, he released them under different names, and another of uh, Ho's ideas was this release of films which were re-edited by Joseph Lau onto a Ninja Myth a collection of 32 one-hour television specials, which was released by IFD. Of course, during the 1980s, Godfrey Ho became also associated with production company Filmmark International, the official boss of which was Thomas Tongak Yan, officially IFD, and Filmmark were competing companies. However, Ho's actors such as Stuart Smith, also known as Stuart Steen, appeared in several films from both companies. In the later interview, Smith would confirm Ho was indeed the director of the film Mark films such as Ninja, American Warrior, and Clash of the Ninjas in 1996. The Garley Building housing film Mark's office and other businesses burned down in the notorious fire disaster and Thomas Tang died in the tragedy along with 40 other people. Godfrey Ho, last film to date, was Manhattan Chase in 1999, released in 2000. As of 2010, he is now teaching at the Hong Kong Film Academy. And of course, several of the film's titles of the word ninja and the titles already exist movie for example you had the ninja force ninja the protector the full metal ninja ninja terminator he would film footage for one micro budget picture and then edit and splice the shots together in a different order adding in footage from various obscure or unreleased hong kong titles or thai filipino and other asian movies martial art films crime films etc to fill the gaps and then dubbing over the result to create a final product this allowed him to create several Z movies with a budget of one, though it is often difficult to discern how much of the finished product was actually filmed by this crew. Godfrey Ho used American actors such as Richard Harrison extensively as a lead role in many of his films. Harrison, a European B movie star in the 60s and 70s, agreed to act in several of Ho's films in the early 80s. Although this footage was later spliced into many more of Ho's productions without his prior agreement, the damage done to his acting career by association with Ho films led to Harrison retiring in 1990. Ho's filmmaking also included uncredited and apparently unauthorized use of music from Miami Vice, uh, Icer One, Common Rider, Super One, Star Trek, Star Wars, the Super Sente franchise, the Combat Mecha, Exabongo, Kayao, Takasu, Chupsian, and Silent Running, and composed by Wendy Carlos, who's known for her electric music, and of course, among others, Pink Floyd, Tangerine Dream, Clan of Zymos. Many of these he took their excerpts without permission and put him in his film. He also made some more mainstream movies, such as two martial art films starring Cynthia Roth, Rock, which was Honor and Glory, Undefeatable, and of course, La Femme Nikita inspired female assassin Lethal Panther films in 1990 and 1993, and Laboratory of the Devil, which was an unauthorized 1992 sequel. And of course, he had shock films such as Men Behind the Sun, Destroy All Evidence in 1994, which Ho reverted to extensively reusing old footage. Ho appeared as a cameo twice, first time in The Magnificent in 1979, 
and again in Mr. X in 1995. Godfrey's most recent credit is a cameo appearance in Scott McQuay's Space Ninjas in 2019, where he plays a janitor. Of course, director uh, McQuaid noted that his B-movie title was inspired by Ho's 70s ninja films, and he wanted to pay homage to his work, so he wrote a scene specifically for Ho to appear in. Godfrey Ho wrote and directed under different names and has been credited under them more than 40 different names during the course of his career. And in Chinese, he is known by two names. If you want to talk to another director or an actor from the B-movie genre, subscribe, like, and share, and comment below, and you guys have a wonderful Who's day. Who's your daddy?